Dan, and you're watching Tricky TV, the show that makes people freak. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> and laugh their socks off. <laughs> and that is just for starters. The other thing about Tricky TV is you will learn how to trick people because I will show you some tricky secrets. On today's show, you can see Peter Andre become completely baffled when he joins us for an amazing car trick. See, now. <laughs> now that's magic. That's so how it is. Plus, how not to get taken in by the red and black chips trick in Beat the Cheat. And is it possible to predict just one phone number from over 100 phone directories? Find out if it can be done. I think you'll agree today's Tricky TV is looking mighty fun. But now, have a little look at this. This is the famous cut and restored rope. And the reason it's called that is that you take the centre of the rope like this, and then you take a pair of scissors and carefully cut the centre of the rope like that. So now you can see it's two ends here and two ends there. You then squeeze these ends into your hand like this. You give a rub and a blow and then hopefully, if the magic's worked, the rope is back to how it started. It's a fantastic trick, isn't it? And do you know something? Everyone who sees it fully agrees. <laughs> Just give it a really good tug, really, really tug. Yeah, definitely a real, real piece of rope. That's it, that's it, all right, there you go. <laughs> well, don't stretch it too much. Get it back together again. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so Hopefully, the rope will be back together again. Oh. It's a classic trick, and I'm going to show you how to do it so you can join the secret circle. No more piece of rope. <laughs> I am behind the scenes of a TV studio and in the dressing room of TV presenter, pop star, and pin up Peter Andre. How are you? Well, now, I don't know about the pin up, <laughs> but I'm just telling you, I can't wait to see this. This tricky TV? You've been telling me about it, I want to see it. It's going to be good, I promise. Now, before we do anything, okay, it's right. very important. We've got a box of uh, playing cards just here. What I want you to do is to put them in your pocket, any pocket you like, but just make sure I can't get to them. Solid, okay. solid. Brilliant stuff. That's very Solid. important. Now, we also have a pack of cards here. They're all completely different. And uh, Pete, if you want to check that yeah, out. Yeah, I want to check that they're all different. They okay. are, they are. And if you would, just mix them all up, mm. give them a good shuffle. And as you're shuffling them, just get any playing card you want in your mind, any one at all, okay? Mm. But just think of any one and try not to change it for now. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, now whilst Peter's uh, shuffling the cards, I'm going to show you at home the Blade of Death, otherwise known as the Fork of Death. Now, before uh, someone tried this out and ha had a big accident, it was just called The Fork. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Blade and Razor and Blazer. OK, the idea is this. When you stop shuffling, I'm going to ask you to throw the cards in the air. Right. When you throw the cards in the air, I'm going to turn around and try and stab the card that you no, have just thought on. of. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, have you seen how close that wall is? This is very important. When I do say throw them, you need no. to, to move as fast as you can. Um, there is nothing yeah. worse. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. There is nothing worse than the cards on the floor and obviously Peter Andre. Well, what if you can't reach the... <laughs> mm. Right, now don't worry about the, the reach. I was just going to ask you about that. It's all in hand. Oh, <laughs> fair, fair now. OK. Mm. Here we go then. Well, hang on a second. I haven't finished shuffling yet. I'm going to sure. put them put back in the same order. They started in a little minute. No, I'm joking. OK, right. here we go. Are you ready? So what? Throw. You throw, run. then you run. Right. God. <laughs> Here we go. Peter Andre, throw the cards after the count of three. <laughs> he tricked no. me. <laughs> no, no, no. He tricked Don't me. Mind. This, this sometimes happens. It sometimes happens. It's under control. So it's no stabbage. Not a problem. Remember the cards that you've had in your pocket? They've been poking out all the way through. They've I haven't been, been there. there. No, you, he hasn't been in me, I swear. You know that. Slowly take the cards out of your pocket. OK, at your fingertips, fantastic. Now, I'm going to hold them at my fingertips as well. You can see I'm not touching them. I'm not touching any of the playing cards inside. Name the card that you're just thinking of. Any card. OK, and I swear, 
We have not talked about this. Set it up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Name it. Six of spades. Six of spades. Do you want to change your mind or are you happy with the mind you've got? Well, the question is, would you like me to change my mind? No, I'm happy, happy with the answer happy. I got. Are you happy? I'm happy. Okay, look, watch this look. You can see the cards, all right? Okay. Watch. Have a close look. Watch. Go through. One see, car that's face ridiculous. Up. One car face up. But not only that, you could have thought of any one of the two. Not only is the six of spades the only one face up, Peter, look. It's the only one, have a look. With a blue band. See, now, <laughs> now that's magic. That is certainly is. That is magic. Six of spades, that's a good trick. And that's Peter Andre. Thank you very much. I've just been shoveled. Spade. <laughs> right. some great tricks but I can't make that vanish. Ooh. Hey, I tell you what, let me show you using this guy a very famous illusion. Watch this. Hey, it's great isn't it? And do you know something? When you come back, I'm going to show you how it's done. Also coming up on Tricky TV, we attempt a massive prediction trick over 100 phone directories and an amazing secret weapon. We reveal the secret of the red and black chip trick in Beat the Cheat. And I'll tell you the secret of the magic rope that you can cut in two and then join up together again. Just a moment ago. <coughs> Dirty man. Ooh. You saw this guy here float in the air without any strings or hidden wires. Now, just before I tell you how it's done, let's take a look at it again. Watch this. It does look great, doesn't it? Well, now let's show you how we did it. First of all, this guy here, he's not sleeping. Oh, no. He's actually my mate, Chris. You right, Chris? Right. Yeah, good. And these aren't Chris's feet. Oh, no. In fact, these aren't Chris's legs. They're just broomsticks covered in bubble wrap to give the thickness of a leg. So when I snapped my fingers, that was Chris's cue to raise the broomsticks and his body to make it look as though he was really floating. Then I snapped again, and he went back down and pretended to fall asleep. So the whole thing was just one big trick. The only thing that was real was the smell. <laughs> they are young. They are dedicated. They practice daily to develop their skills. They are united by the same dream to become the best young magicians in the world. Here's Troy with his amazing chewing gum trick. Watch this. He's finished chewing and now he's got nowhere to get rid of it. So what does he do? Well, he uses magic and puts it back together again. 
and now puts the wrapper on it too. Now that is cool! Do you know, there are some people who would do a trick to simply try and cheat you. Well, of course, you know I wouldn't do anything like that. Oh, no. But I know a man who would. OK, the idea is this. We've got, uh, we've got two discs here, and these are used in gambling games, and they're called chips. And uh, with chips, there's always a red one, and there's always a black one. Now, what I'm going to do is put them behind my back. I'm going to mix them up, and you have to try and work out where the red one is. OK, so let's have a go. Who wants to have a go? All right, uh, you can have a go. Where is the red one? No, that's the black one. No, we'll do it again, don't worry. Do it again, OK. Where is the red one? No, that's the black one. No, because the red one's over here. All right, hello, mate. Where's the red one? Which one? To point to either hand. No, it's the black one. Oh. Let's go again. Uh, which one's the red in? Um. No, it's the black oh. one. Sorry, no. Well, we'll go again. Look, who should we use this time? Let's have a look. Um, OK, uh, you. You over there. Which one? Which one do you think? No matter how many times they tried, you know, they think they've got a 50-50 chance. Actually, they've got no chance at all. So what is the secret of the coloured chips? Well, do you want to know it? OK, here we go. The con man places his hands behind his back and pretends that he's mixing up the chips. What he's actually doing is switching the red chip for a tricky chip. Now, the tricky chip has a red side and a black side. So he's now dealing with two chips. One has black on both sides and the tricky chip, red side and the black side. He closed his hands and he asked the crowd, where is the red chip? Now, if they pick this hand with the totally black chip in, he just holds out his hand, he says, no, sorry, you're wrong, and shows the red side of the tricky chip. Now, if the crowd pick the tricky chip, then all he does is he slams it down with the black side face up. Simple. So now you know the secret, you can beat the cheat. <laughs> trick I showed you earlier with the piece of rope. Remember this one? Ooh, thanks, Keith. I took the middle of the rope like this and then cut it in half like that so you could see clearly there were two ends here and two ends here. Then I took the middle of the rope and gave a squeeze and a blow and the rope was back in one piece. People love this trick and it always gets a great reaction. I really like this trick and do you know it's actually one of the world's most famous magic tricks and now I'm going to tell you how it's done. Are you ready? The secret is this, just an extra piece of rope. It's that simple. Here's how it works. What you do is you have the extra piece of rope in your hand like that and from the front obviously your friends won't see it because you just hold it by your side. Then you show the long piece of rope like this and you run it through your hand 
just in front of the extra piece, just there. From the front, you can't see that either. Then you take what your friends think is the middle of the long rope, but is in fact just the extra piece of rope. And that is what you cut. So you cut that in half like this. And because your friends see two ends here and two ends there, they really think the long rope has been chopped in half. Then what you do is you squeeze the extra pieces back into your hand and then just pull out the long rope and your friends will think that you put it back together again. Now, here's a different way to end this trick that I think is really, really good. Once you've cut the extra piece of rope like that, put the whole thing in your pocket like this and then just pull out the long rope and it'll look as though you put it back together whilst it was in your pocket. It's cool, isn't it? So there you have it. You now know the secret to one of the world's most famous tricks, the cut and restored rope. So why don't you fool your friends? Because you are now in the secret circle. Oh, by the way, um, if you ever, if you ever actually really cut the middle of the rope like that, don't, don't worry, because it can always be sorted with, uh, with just a little bit of magic. And I'll show you how to do that next time. I've come along to Hastings Seafront to attempt a very big, and I mean a very big prediction trick. Now to help me out, I've got my friends from All Saints Junior School. Hello to you all, you all right? Yeah! Good stuff. We're also going to be using these. There's over 100 telephone directories from all over the country. Now, you've all checked that they're all different, haven't you? Yeah! Good stuff. Now, also to help us out, we've got Dr. Hal Sosovoski. How are you? I'm fine, Stephen. Nice to see you. Thanks for helping us out today. Um, can you tell me what qualifications you have? Yes, I've got a PSC, yeah. a PhD, wow. an MBA, mm. and an MA, wow. and an MRSC. That's unbelievable. That's a lot. It is. Any others? GCSE Grade 6 in Woodwork. Hey, we have something in common. <laughs> now, here's the plan, OK? okay. Um, I've made a prediction. Okay. Hopefully, we're going to try and make that prediction a reality in just yeah. a moment. Um, but with the uh, telephone directories, we've got 102 of them. Right. Um, on average, there's 210 uh, phone numbers on a page. Right. And there's the average of about 680 pages per directory. So okay. how many phone numbers are we dealing with? 14,280,000, Stephen. That's a lot of numbers. It's a lot. This could be a lot harder than I first thought. All right, now let's get this started and uh, let's see if it can work. Um, all of you, please go and grab a directory, please. Anyone you want, get one from the top, the bottom, the middle, anyone at all. Make it a totally free choice. That's the important thing. Pick up anyone you want. Change your mind if you like, it's up to you. Okay, you've all got one. Fantastic. Now, myself and Hal are going to turn around. Then I want you to mix yourselves up and get into a different position. Do that now. OK? Now, stop wherever you are in three, two, one. OK? You've all stopped. How? Say any number, one to 16. Number nine. Number nine. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello, mate. What's your name? Jeremy. Good to see you, Jeremy. Come with me. Let's take your book as well. OK, Jeremy, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to flick through the directory. I want you to say stop any time you like, OK? Yeah. Any time you want. It's very windy. Stop. OK, do you want me to go further forward or backwards? Up to you. Stay. Stay where you are. Which page are we going to use? That one. That one. OK. How? You can see here, look, there are look, four different columns. One, two, three, four. Which column are we going to use? Your choice. Column four. Column number four. OK. What's your name again? Jeremy. Jeremy. Look, what I'm going to do, Jeremy, is run my fingers down the page. All right, when I get, whenever you say stop, I'll stop. Yep. OK? All right, anyone you like. So well, let's run my fingers down. Anyone you want. Stop. OK. Do you want me to go up or down? Stay where I am. Stay. OK. Read that number out where you've stopped. 01632. 01632. Carry on. 96. Yep. 0434. 960434. Fantastic. Let's just check this out. What how's written down? 01632 960. Four, three, four. Superb. All right. So let's just uh, go over this one more time. You could have picked any directory. All right. Any one at all. 102 of them. You've picked the number. Have a look up there. Wow. Oh, one, six, three, two, oh nine, six, oh, four, three, four. Any number could have been picked over 102 directories. Hello. 
Look, I predicted the same phone number that they all randomly selected. Now that is what you call tricky. Next time on Tricky TV, things take an unexpected turn when some friends have a sleepover and the Tricky team, well, they turn up too. You don't want to miss our wicked wind-up. It's spooky. And I show you how to do the vanishing paper ball trick. The secret is right in front of your eyes. Tricky TV. I think you'll agree that is going to be one very good show. Well, that's it for Tricky TV today, but I'll see you very soon for more magic, more surprises, and lots and lots of laughs. But now, as it's the end of the day, the director has promised me I can go on this ride and has assured me it's not scary. So let's do it. Until then, here are some things that didn't quite go according to plan. Ah! Ah! We've got to stop recording because apparently the frequency of the mics that we're using is coming out over the Sea Lion Lions show. <laughs> so apparently the Sea Lions are doing what I'm telling them to do. Have a little look. Oh, I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually just scroll, scrolls. Scrolls? <laughs> Trekking! <laughs>